morning. Thank you for joining me. Today is Wednesday, June 2nd. Beautiful day outside. We once again had that little thunderburst of rain yesterday afternoon, so that was rather pleasant. Um, I'm just going to, as everyone's joining in, I just want to start with a little prayer this morning. Um, oh God of hope, help us to see the light within us and around us. Grant us the imagination to find the hope that hides in the dusty corners of our hearts. And may we shake the dust so that we might be restored in the newness of life and the newness of hope. So the reading today is from the book of Mark. Chapter 4, just a couple of verses, 21 through 25. So we'll start there. Jesus said to them, Is a lamp brought in to be put under the bushel basket or under the bed and not on the lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be disclosed, nor is anything secret except to come to light. Let anyone with ears to hear listen. And he said to them, Pay attention to what you hear. The measure you give will be the measure you get, and still more will be given you. For to those who have, more will be given. And from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. Word of God, Word of Life. Christ in Our Home Devotions today is entitled Reflecting Christ's Light. On verse 21 is a lamp brought in to be put under the bushel basket and not on the lampstand. Have you ever wondered what Jesus would think of the taboo against discussing religion or politics in polite company? Based on this chapter of Mark's gospel, I would guess probably not much. Jesus' words of challenge here follow four rapid-fire parables he taught in what seems to have been a bit of an exasperated tone. In the U.S., the separation of church and state enshrined in the First Amendment of the Constitution has often been misinterpreted to mean that our faith shouldn't affect our politics. The Establishment Clause protects religions, especially minority ones, from government interference and favoritism. If Christ shines within us, discipleship is the reflecting of that light into the world's many dark places. The faith we know, the God we love, the discipleship we practice, this light can and should shine brightly in all aspects of our lives and should inform all our, all our decisions, including political ones. We have an endless opportunity to practice faith. Please join me in the prayer today. Jesus, let our belief become action to reflect your light in all that we say and do. Amen. Prayer concern for throughout the day is for all who serve in elected office. Thank you for joining me again this morning. Blessings on your day and we'll see you again soon.